Don't worry, you didn't miss anything while I was talking on you. Um, yeah, that was... That's kind of rough. I like that fork quite a bit. Alright, in the, the universe of prophecies, let's, let's find a new place to settle, huh? I don't think I'm going to reclaim. Uh, reclaims end up being kind of weird anyways. But. And, uh, Freestab and Darth, I'll, I'll give you new dwarves. Dash McGrew. same civilization. Try Aqua Gold. Gold and copper around this mm, volcano. Scarce trees, scarce vegetation. Some cliff there, but not a lot. build that across I would have to go like a six by six embark it's tempting The way of slop. <laughs> the way of slop, yes.
this is hot, so it'll probably never freeze. Hmm, excuse me. Oh, a minor river. Only gold. Oh, some iron up there. I like that. Again, not much of an elevation. Just iron is fine. Something like that. Uh, aquifer, yeah, sure. All right, uh, prepare for the journey carefully, sure. Uh, no one with any skills, sure. Um, no, we'll, we'll have some miners. We're going to be doing some digging in this one, I think. I like the digging side. The... Um, the, the whole thing of um, building above ground is fun, but... It has it has some issues in early stuff. I don't I didn't really enjoy that part as much. Uh, we're gonna have a, a good appraiser and a good organizer or record keeper. We won't use all our pigtail seeds this time. And yeah, we're gonna get five picks, a couple of battle axes. Uh, some pigtail cloth. Do we have pigtail cloth? We do, so we'll get some silk cloth. Elephants? <laughs> oh, we are definitely bringing an elephant. Can we bring two? No. All right, change the plans, everybody. We're bringing an elephant. <clears throat> of course, elephants have to be on the surface. Shoot. We don't need a step ladder anyways. We have elephants. All right, so we have, uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're doing something with elephants. I don't know what, but we're doing something. So this is on a minor river. And we're a part of I don't even remember what the civ name was. Castle Divine. Alright, I can get behind that. The magical mirrors. The romantic merchants. Truthful bells of belted labor, the silvers of thunder. Okay. Oh, aqua gold, that's what it is. 
Um, probably going to be something with dwarves. Image of dwarves. Um, Sathar the Yeti. <clears throat> um, the dwarves are admiring the anvil. Oops. The dwarves are admiring the anvil. Um, the Sathar is wielding. fighting with the anvil. There you go. That'll have to do. Uh, the name... The Act of Artifice. Badakabirim. Let's go. <clears throat> A dwarven outpost. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all ungoblin mole. <clears throat> There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is summer now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the saltwater crocodiles get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here, at this place. Rimtarnabas, Castle Divine. Strike the Earth. Look at the baby elephants! Ah! They're so cute. Alright. So, well, here we are at the top. We have a waterfall here. It goes down, 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 down. Wow. Bunch of levels. So we have a lot 
lot of sand. Got this weird pass right here. Nice wide river. All right, so general plan. We're gonna build along the edge here. So all the bedrooms are gonna overlook the water. We'll put like windows and stuff in there. We'll, we'll get a glass industry going. The real question is, do we have any aquifer layers? So there's aquifer there. No, well, may not get that much of building area here. Be a, another aquifer from heck kind of thing. Well, we'll give it a try. Now well, we can build along here. There's no aquifer on this side. So that's what we'll do. We'll build along the, the walls here, and then we'll traverse over and we'll build on the other side as well. Let's get some good limonite. We are going to need magma for glass. Up. You're a new manager, so that's it's gonna be you. <laughs> You're feeling randy today. Congratulations. Um, tends to avoid any conf physical confrontation and works to square this natural tendency with his respect for martial prowess. Uh, generally quite confident of his abilities when undertaking specific ventures and often feels lustful. Often acts with compassion, enjoys the comp company of others, can sometimes act without deliberation and can handle stress, and is a friendly individual. But he interrupts others during conversations when he's angry. Uh, dreams of mastering a skill and personally values eloquence, finds romance distasteful and sees introspection as another as important and doesn't care about nature one way or another. Uh, like siltstone, lead, cherry opal, mahogany wood, the color amethyst, battle axes, leather, armor, crowns, geese for their formation, flying, the sound of the tenebrous pregnancy, and the sight of the turquoise of caves. 
When possible, he prefers to consume maize beer in Kaniwa flour and absolutely detests oysters. Welcome to the fort. And, uh... And Darth, we'll give you several the minor for now. <clears throat> Everything's all right. Uh, very ambitious, always looking for a way to better his situation, and is pleased by his own appearance and talents. He often takes offered help and gives without feeling particularly grateful. He has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications and can sometimes act without deliberation. He finds obligations confining, though he is conflicted by this for more than one reason. He has an active sense of humor, has a greedy streak, and is generally quite confident of his abilities when undertaking specific ventures. He becomes very rigid when he's angry. Uh, and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. Dreams of raising a family one day and personally values peace over war and values artwork. Likes granite, electrum, sardonyx, gauntlets, rings, and the sight of the turquoise of caves. When possible, he prefers to consume foxtail millet beer and absolutely detests bats. Welcome to the fort. All right, so we're gonna chop down these trees. We're gonna dig down over here and hopefully not find too much aquifer. And um, I need a big space for these elephants so that they have space to grow. No, that's fine. Nice big spot for our elephants. Our horses can go there too until we slaughter them later. Okay, um, also fishing is banned, everybody. fish are fighting in the river. Anything else on? We have alligators, a river otter. We have a lot of fish. Stingrays. Peregrine, falcon, tersal peregrine. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to just see how much room we have to work with here.
over there. Really not a whole lot to work with. Down here it opens up. Okay. Details. Sweet pods, key wheat. So I think if we're going to build the bedrooms and stuff on the side of the water there, we'll use storage on the interior. And to autumn we go. Why 
is there water misting down there? Oh, interesting. buttons. Yeah, I like that. All right. Make this a big old stockpile. This will be for sure cloth, armor, ammo. Yes, hello. Yes, you're a very big dog. Yep, hello. Yep. Uh, sure, coins, finished goods, furniture, uh, just the cut gems. I shouldn't bother putting cloth and leather in there, but eh, whatever. Weapons. Yeah, I'll do. <laughs> well, the, the, the merchants are already here. We haven't even built anything, but sure. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the Aqua Gold is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft stores. Uh, how do you like boulders? Take careful stock of your own stores. What these merchants offer might very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow and meaningless death. Okay, so first off, we don't have a trading post, but let's um, let's make a jeweler. And we'll actually just cut some gems real quick. And I don't even know if I can build a trading depot fast enough here, but we'll give it a try. I suppose I should find out where they're coming from. Up there? Okay. Yeah, let's try building a trading depot. Yes, hello. Yes, I see you. You're a dog. And we'll go down here. And we'll just say cut gems on repeat. Uh, Dish Mob, the liaison, says, let's discuss your situation. The world is the same as ever. That's because we've been here for like a week, dude. Um, let's just assume I mess up pigtails again, and we'll just get pigtail seeds. There we go. Cut gems or trained hides. All right, fine. are coming. Um, cut a few gems and hope that they're good enough. Expedition leader. I just 
want a third gem. Is that too much to ask? There. Of course, the the uh, broker is the jeweler. Uh, okay. Well, we don't have a lot to work with here. Not gonna need instruments. We brought a bowl and a buck rabbit. We don't want either of those. Don't think we have enough for drink. about I want this rock clear glass these two nickel bars good enough wonderful thank you for your business come back next year you know after we've been here for more than a day maybe That's looking nice. All right, so let's kind of plan that along here as well. sure what I'll do with the central area here. Maybe I'll have some workshops in there or something, but okay. Yes, I like that.
that for digging later. And, um... What if we say this area is actually our woodcutter's area? So hopefully this uh, this fort lasts a little longer. Kind of disappointed with all that. Looks like I already got some responses on the messages I sent out earlier. That's good. Migrants have arrived, but it's so early. Where? From whence do they come? Two, three, some animals, four, five, six, Animal, animal, seven, eight. stuff if I don't build farmers workshops and kitchens and stuff. Uh, workshops, farming, farmers workshop. Farming, still not enough room, huh? As usual, this is just temporary, David. Just temporary.
Thanks so much for the follow. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Welcome on in. Playing some Dwarf Ward at the moment. I went to a meeting and came back to a completely different fort. Yeah. Yeah, Ancient Ocean, unfortunately... It had some weird lizard problems. Granted, they were kind of of my own making. I didn't, I didn't deal with it like you should. But, yeah. It's not a happy fort. Oh, we hit Aquifer there, too. Gosh darn it. That's really inconvenient. You know that? Fine. Oh, and everything's withered. Awesome. I love wasting plants. So this one we're planning on having, like, windows all along the edge here. But first we're going to have to build up the fort. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of wish I had built this one, one square down just so I could put a kitchen in there. But no, no, I didn't plan. I didn't plan. That's all right. Who needs a kitchen, right? Maybe what we'll do is we'll make this into a big dining hall. 